Hello there, Lynx here, and welcome to what I assume will be the last episode of Lifted Dreams. Let's let's just jump to it. Uh, we are going to go past the first choice, which was which was in the first episode or second, I think in the first, and we've chosen Chelsea there. So in the previous episode, we chose we chose Fate. Uh, I mean Fate, Fate. We have to do Chelsea again and then move to the second choice and do a different option. So let's jump just straight to it. And with, the, with that being said, let's meet Chelsea this time. When the cicadas cry. Today I call Chelsea. Ah, wait, no. Call Faye. Faye, 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 sorry. <laughs> Today. I'll finally face the girl who caused all of this. I knew this day would come and with enough preparation I know that I'm more than ready to face her. Am I for? As I face the red sky, the empty feeling that I felt with Chelsea comes back to my mind. But I remind myself that this feeling doesn't belong to me. It's simply a feeling generated by the irregularity that's formed within my brain. I ignore it and consider it fuel for what's to come. I suddenly hear heavy footsteps approach me. As I turn my head towards the source, the girl I was waiting for arrives. Jeff, it's rare for you to call me nowadays. I've heard this before. She puts in a creepy smile that she's that says she's prepared for whatever happens. Well, I knew that you'd expect me to call you after everything that happened. I smell back trying to hide the fact that I'm planning something. Hey, tell me something. What's your dream? I don't have any reason to tell you anymore. Come on, why are you so defensive? Shouldn't you be worrying about yourself instead? I can't do that unless you tell me your answer. It doesn't matter whether or not I have a dream. She raises her voice. It does! She falls silent. I have always wondered. The source of this emotional hysteria is definitely... You! Just like us, you must have lost the ability to achieve your dream. But there is one problem with that logic. You can still write. Amazing. You've done your research. You're bad. She laughs as if she's impressed. Now tell me, what is your real dream? Faye's eyes seem to grow more intense for a moment, but they soon return to normal. I'm not obligated to tell you. <sighs> I knew you wouldn't tell me, but more or less, I already know what that is. As I say those words once again, I find myself executing a familiar course of action. I slowly walk towards Faye. Don't tell me. I will not speak. <laughs> the actions will be taken instead. At first, Faye thinks that I'm joking, but when she realizes that I'm serious, it's already too late. I grab onto her shoulders, preventing her from looking away. I move my face closer to hers. She knows she can't resist my hold on her. <laughs> this is basically the same scene for. Even though this is the second choice. Before she can finish complaining, my lips touch hers, causing them to close. I hug her tightly and feel her voluptuous bosom press against my chest. Although she resists, her pale cheeks fill with the red. Unexpectedly, I'm starting to lose myself. Contrary to her cold attitude these days, her lips are soft, warm and sweet. While we kiss, I caress her aromatic and long hair, grazing her inviting porcelain neck from time to time. I come to realize how much I miss her, even more so than before. I imagine what might have happened if she hadn't changed and wonder if I could have kept my promise to prioritize my dream before love. As our lips entwine, I can feel a certain warmth emanating from her chest. It soothes me, enhancing my feelings of ecstasy. As I give in to the feeling, the warmth vanishes as if it had been, uh, has been dosed with ice. Face started to break free from my embrace. Can't be happening. 
But it is happening. Faye tries to break free from the strong grip of the prey clinging onto her. Beds of sweat flow down from her forehead down to her neck. It can't come back. I have to get rid of it for good. As she feels a gush of emotion rushing to her heart, she tries to stop it through sheer strength of will. She knows that she can't have those kinds of feelings anymore. She knows that they are useless and will only hurt her. She made a vow a long time ago that she would never feel that way again. She swore to herself that she wouldn't fall in love again after being rejected. Who rejected her? He doesn't like me. But he does! An image of Jeff looking disgusted flashes in face mind. Do I not remember correctly that he had a crush on her? What the heck? With a lot of effort, once again, she successfully pushes the complicated emotion back into oblivion. As she does so, she simultaneously pushes Jeff away. She covers her lips as soon as she breaks through from his grip, as for he were poisonous. I can't feel it. It's gone. This is better. No, it's not! Oi! Faye starts to turn and quickly begins walking away. Run be after her, man! The previously speechless boy finally says, Faye! Faye pays no attention to the boy as she continues to walk. I know how you feel! His words cause her to stop walking! She shoots him a glance! You love me and you are consciously getting rid of it! I'm your dream! I don't know what you're talking about. That's a bold thing to say for! <laughs> Faye tries to deny it. But that's so wrong! You shouldn't do that! You lose your ability to lose to love anyone or anything! You'll come to hate writing! Hatred will dominate your world! I don't care about that. Love is just painful. Yeah it is. That's true. Um <laughs> Don't say that! He raised his voice and gulps before he continues. I love you. Liar! You don't love me. You're just saying that to get your dream back. You're disgusted by my strangeness. Disgusted enough that it makes you want to walk away. Just like that time. Faye continues talking about the day she confessed to him two years ago. It was a day that was very painful for her. At least it's painful enough to make her get rid of and forget about everything. But then again, that explains why she would distance herself, right? But am I really... My, is my memory really that terrible? I remember him saying he had a crush on her for ages. Everything. Except for that day. I'm sorry for being a coward. But it's true! I love you. You haven't even said anything to me for these past two years. Yikes. I'm sorry about that too. I guess I was too embarrassed about not being able to answer the girl that I've liked since the first time I met her. And I blocked it out. I mean, she was my choice in the first route, yeah. <laughs> you are a playboy despite being a coward. You're pathetic. You even kiss her. Uh, I guess that hurt. <laughs> I'm sorry that you had to see that. He masks his embarrassment with a laugh. As he speaks, he puts his right hand inside of his pocket. He wraps what he was looking for and extends his hand to Faye. Here. He gives something to Faye. That's... Faye's eyes widen and she stutters, struggling to believe what she sees. That, that's, that's the blue pencil. Yeah, I mean, isn't this curious how the heck he didn't use it up over the course of few years, two years, despite using it? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you were trying to give me this better print pencil that time. <laughs> uh, 
and that makes her cry. <laughs> Faye brings her hands up to her mouth as tears begin to flow out of from her eye from her eyes. Her once angry voice disappears. It's all you picked it up. Yes, I did. He answers gently. And you've kept it this whole time. Yes, I did. He repeats his words, knowing that his feelings are the only thing that matters. Why? You ran away at that time. I was a coward. I said that I would prioritize my dreams first, but maybe I was just scared of falling in love. Scared that maybe I love you so much that I forget about my dream. Yeah, it's just pathetic. But I know for sure that since the very first time I saw you, I've been captivated. Yes. Faye covers her face with her hands, trying to hold back her tears. She's clearly confused, unsure as to whether or not she should be happy or angry with her misunderstanding and the thing it's caused. She did something awful without knowing the full truth. Naturally, she feels the wave of guilt starting to set in. I guess I didn't do enough research about you. <laughs> Her tears start to be up like waterfalls. It's not entirely your fault, I'm also to blame. You don't have to suffer alone. You were hysteric, you weren't yourself. Jeff extends his arms and lets Faye lean against his chest. You don't have to hold back now. You can rely on me. I'm here for you. Faye clutches Jeff's shirt, unable to hold back her emotions any longer. She sobs, relieved that his chest is there to muffle the sound. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Faye whispers under her breath, hoping that her guilt quiet voice reaches him. It's okay. Let's also be sure to apologize to Chelsea some other time. She nods weakly. Please let me stay like this for a while. Yeah. <laughs> he answers her gently, hoping that his support will bring back the real Faye and allow her to stay forever. He feels relieved that he has finally done something for her. When he remembers her confession from long ago, he realizes that the root of the problem of everything that has happened was his own cowardice. Now that he has saved her, he feels that he has already thrown away his weak self and atoned for his shortcomings. But despite all of that, deep down, he still feels thankful for everything that has happened. If it wasn't for this, he wouldn't have realized something. Dreams can survive without love. There is some truth to that. Are they moving? They're moving. Okay, is there... Am I supposed to wait or sh should I click? I will click! Dreams and love go hand in hand. That's true. He wouldn't have realized that. His feelings for this beautiful girl are also a part of his dream. I, ju I didn't just save her, she also saved me. As the girl continues to silently weep, Jeff embraces her ever so tightly, feeling the warmth emanating from their chests. The sun has set, but their tenderness keeps them warm. He hopes that she will never disappear again, never be tortured by the cruel truth of reality. For him, this girl is a pre precious stone. It's difficult to find one. But when you do, it's definitely worth it. Indeed, she is heavenly. She's my angel. I mean, his angel, right? <laughs>
So let's assume that Chelsea got her voice back as well. Oh, there's more. There is more. The gentle early sunlight streams down the girl's hang head as she leans by the chains of the peaceful playground swing. Since that day she has been going there, humming lonely tunes all by herself. Sometimes tears build up in her eyes while she hums. But today they continue flowing down her cheeks because she was reminded of something she had witnessed that she doesn't want to remember. She was called here. Thinking that they'd be here soon, she quickly wipes her tears away with her hands. Oh, Chelsea, did we make you wait long? A boy asks her. The happy couple is already standing in front of her. She glances at both of them with a glint of sadness in her eyes, then quickly smiles. It's okay. I come here every morning. It's indeed a bright smile. I mean, then again, it would make sense. She has the writing, he has the arts, she has the voice. Yeah. Faye, the boy's girlfriend, says. A visual novel? Yeah, it's kind of like a storybook. Chef, I told you not to compare it with a storybook. <laughs> She's right. Besides, it's not even a book. Calling it a video game is better. Yeah. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, for I have sinned. Chelsea, I'll write the scenario. Jeff will draw the art, and you can compose the music. What do you think about that? Hmm, I think that's a great idea since it's in line with our dreams. But she lowered her voice. Won't I just get in your way? Nope. Hmm? Did you say something? No, I haven't heard anything. No. Nothing. I'm up for it. <laughs> she flashes a bright smile once again. Great. Then it's decided. Let's do our best to make it come true. Yeah. Faye and Chelsea both agree. The newly formed team started planning right away. A lot of questions and problems arose even in the planning stages, but despite all of that, each team member tries to come up with a solution. From time to time, they laugh and bright smiles flash across all of their faces. The sun shines brightly on them as if it's celebrating along with them. Tooth! Our bright days of chasing our dreams continue. And the game ends. Ah, that was a satisfying ending. Unlike the other two. <laughs> no, I like this game. It's short, but it's good. Then again, you know. More and more. Those games make me realize. You wish you would have the full backstory of what happened. Because if I had the full backstory, I would probably... Would I fall? Would I on my first attempt go with the Fae? I'm not sure. Maybe not. Whatever. Anyway, that was Lifted Dreams. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, of course, Yumina the Eternal is going along as well at the same time. So feel free to drop there if you are not there. Uh, other than that, I'll see you in the next game if you don't want to watch Yumina. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.